Barack Obama attempts to win re-election, while Mitt Romney hopes to bring a more conservative vision to the White House. The poor economy and Obama's signature health care initiatives loom large in the 2012 election. Obama will attempt to make the case that his stalwart ship prevented economic disaster after the 2008 financial crisis. Romney will try to frame his business and executive experience as a contrast to the background and results of Obama. Hello everybody, welcome back to video, and today we are going to be playing through the new campaign trail, 2012 edition. Alright, so if you, so, we're just going to jump right into this. We're going to be playing as Mitt Romney first, and if we fail to win as Romney, then we will try to sink Obama. Mitt Romney enters the 2012 campaign as the Republican challenger. He has had a record of public service as the former former governor of Massachusetts, and he has also headed Bain Capital for many years. He is generally perceived as a pro-business moderate and a competent manager. Due to Romney's evolving positions on health care and social issues over the years, some conservatives question his sincerity. His challenge is to win that faction without alienating mainstream voters. Okay, who do we have for running mate options? Uh, let's see, we've got Paul Ryan, uh, who has gained att national attention with his work on the federal budget as a congressman from Wisconsin. His adv advocacy for, a, for deficit reduction appeals to a wide range of moderate conservatives, and his home state of Wisconsin promises to be a close call on election night. Uh, on the other hand, Romney has, no, Ryan has only served as a congressman and has little experience running in a national or even a statewide election. Rob Portman, as a senator from Ohio and former cabinet member for George W. Bush, Rob Portman would bring insider experience to a Republican administration. He has worked with a particular focus on fiscal and economic issues where he advocated for much conservative legislation. Ohio is a must-win state for both candidates, and Portman's presence could be crucial to a Republican victory there. Okay. Marco Rubio, a recently elected senator from Florida. Marco Rubio brings strong political con connections from that state. As a member of the Cuban-American community, he could help blunt the charge that Romney is indifferent to the rapidly growing Hispanic community. Rubio is also considered more conservative than some of Romney's other options and is on good terms with the Tea Party movement. Florida is another must-win state for the Republicans in 2012. Uh, Tim Pot. Paul Linty served as the governor of Minnesota for eight years and briefly sought the Republican nomination in 2011. He brings a reputation as a moderate and strong manager and could help burnish uh, Romney's credentials in the upper Midwest. Uh, not a good choice for unity. Let's go with Rubio. In most general terms, while your overall campaign strategy be against Obama, uh... See, strong on defense. Sounds like you want to stick to the basics and win a real mandate this fall. What will be the overriding uh, theme of your nomination speech at the Republican convention? Uh, let's see. Um... As bad as things are, you might have a shot with a negative message towards the incumbent. Make sure you offer your own solutions, too. Okay. Florida is still up for grabs. What is your position on gay marriage? Okay. Um, let's go with states. That's going to be the most moderate position and one that won't cause a massive backlash. Conservatives in your party are not looking for someone who wavers on this issue, but this may be a safer response overall. A recent Supreme Court decision affirmed an Arizona law allowing officers to check suspended illegal immigrants for proof of immigration status. Do you think this is a good idea? Um, okay. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. What's our support at now? 
uh, where you did not gain ground. Uh, what is guiding your foreign policy philosophy? Um, American exceptionalism. Do you support allowing the Bush tax cuts to expire for high income households? Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's say that. Base is hoping to hear something more more forceful on the taxation issue. Okay. The Affordable Act, Care Act, i.e. Obamacare, uh, will cap annual premiums, require minimum coverage levels, and outlaw discrimination against people with pre-existing conditions. What do you think? Uh, there should be a public health public insurance company offering health care to all Americans. Private insurers are simply too greedy and too likely to turn down people with pre-existing conditions. This program will be a disaster. Not only is it a constitutional violation of personal freedom, it will also lead to a decline in American health care and will prove to be financially impossible to maintain without socializing the health care system. Um, let's say it will be a disaster. Keep throwing the red meat to your supporters. To what extent will you talk about your religious faith on the campaign trail? Uh, bring it up on occasion. That's work. Would you consider military action in Syria if the impasse between uh, Bashar Assad and the rebels there continues? Uh, it's something we should keep on the table. Uh, I will, um, we shouldn't be attempting to navigate Syrian politics. Um, let's see. Let's see. There we go. Why are we not getting any bumps? Do you support continued subsidies for the production of ethanol fuel? Uh, let's do more research. The maximum duration of unemployment insurance with all extensions factor factored in has been reduced from 99 weeks. Uh, do you think this is appropriate in the current economic climate? Um, that is nearly two years. We need unemployment benefits, but those extensions were clearly out of control. Um, here we go. We need to do something. Most recent data for 2010 on Pell Grants indicate that 60% of all college students receive one. Same year, the program cost $36 billion. What changes, if any, would you make to this program? Um, let's see. Um... What a strange and completely 10 year response. November 2011, Ohio voters rejected a law to limit collective bargaining power for public unions. Public sector unions, such as teachers and police unions, have too much bargaining power. This is an issue for the states to decide. Collective bargaining uh, unions have been eviscerated by decades of outsourcing. Um, go. That man. We need something. Uh, would you support a constitutional amendment to overturn some provisions of the Citizens United ruling affecting campaign finance by PACs? Um, let's see. Hmm. 
Absolutely not. Do you support increased restrictions on handgun ownership? Uh, here we go. Nothing wrong with this response. It's important to keep the National Rifle Association happy as a Republican candidate. Do you think we should? What do you think we should do next in regards to Social Security? Talking about a bankrupt Social Security program is a right-wing scare tactic. We could inform. Our changes like an increase to the retirement. No, the Social Security program has unfounded liabilities. Um, you know, the project, you know, the projected shortfall that people talk of. We're not even talking about the trust fund making a pay and that payout until 2033. Maybe there's some tweaks we can make to the program, but it's fundamentally sound. Um, how does your insurance plan in Massachusetts? differ from Obamacare. My plan was effective for Massachusetts because that state has better human capital. The United States as a whole has too much obesity, diabetes, and chronic illness to make collective insurance viable. Um, let's see. Here we go. So we're not even getting a boost to Massachusetts. Some observers have argued that an embargo of Cuba makes little sense in a post-Cold War environment. Um, let's remove the embargo. Cuban community in Florida is livid at your response. You do know there's a reason why the embargo has been in place this long, right? Wait. That. Nope. What do you think the next step should be in regards to Medicare? We must do whatever it takes to preserve Medicare. Uh, there are plenty of ways we can strengthen the system by reducing the role of government in it. Um, go. Oh, man. Not doing good. Uh, do you believe the federal government is doing enough to enforce laws against employing illegal immigrants? Um, let see. Go. The budget for the Department of Housing and Urban Development was cut by nearly four billion in twenty twelve. Um, budget. We have to make decisions we dislike. We have to make difficult choices. Okay. We're going to have to sink Obama here. Uh, what is your opinion on the gun-walking tactics that led to the Fast and Furious scandal? Uh, okay. Should the United States contribute funds to help stabilize uh, Eastern the European Union's sovereign debt problems in order to prevent a possible debt contagion? Uh, there's no way. Yeah. Man. Uh, encourage real estate developers to build in disaster-prone areas. Uh. Go. Oh, that was it? Yeah, we we lost. Okay, we did we did much worse. Okay, back to twenty twelve, Obama. Let's get rid of uh, Biden. We're gonna go for Clinton. Uh, in most general terms, while your overall campaign strategy be? Um, let's see. Fresh start. Uh, will be the, um, let's see, myriad meet methods, honest speech. 
Roosevelt, Johnson, and Humphrey. Go. There we go. This is feasible to sink this one. Uh, Obamacare. Sink it. Uh, okay. We're losing. Um, I'm going to keep that. Okay. Okay. Um, go. How do you feel about capitalism and the free market? Um, C, K. Should middle school students, um, okay. Would you support build the wall? I don't think that's appropriate. Uh, see. Um, I don't think this is an issue. Someone left to criticize your lines on drone strikes to protect American interests. Um, to enforce laws against. There we go. I'm trying to make him basically go against that. Everything he uh, did campaign on. Elizabeth Warren is currently fighting the good fight in the Massachusetts Senate race, which would be open to offering her a position in your administration if she falls short there. Um, let's see. Okay. Go. So, well, we're only winning a few states at this point. Uh, should the federal government continue to finance newer companies and attempt to develop alternative energy resources? Um... It's hard to get elected with the oppositions. Uh, will you launch an air campaign against Iranian nuclear sites? If diplomatic negotiations continue to yield medical minimal results. <clears throat> um, of course. K. 
Okay. Does it still make sense to provide military aid? Uh-huh. There we go. And sorry, you've lost the 2012 election. It just seems that America didn't think your first term was impactful enough. The sluggish economy, as well as your promises not meeting your ambitious 2008 rhetoric, likely led to this. The swing can't, compared to 2008 is staggering and just goes to show how unpopular you are. The Senate has gone red as well. Let's hope Romney's business experience can guide America to a prosperous economy. Your political career is most likely over, despite your relative youth. Due to the harsh reality of what happens to one-term presidents these days, speaking tours and book deals await your future. Perhaps you can be the next Jimmy Carter. Many are also angered at your of your dropping of Joe Biden, which they feel cost you some votes and possibly the election. Biden himself has already yelled at you for losing the election. Wait, we flipped California? <laughs> we flipped California. <laughs> You know what? I'm taking that. That's a win right there. <laughs> a red modern California. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, there you have it. <laughs> a red California. <laughs> All right. Like and subscribe. Bye.